Isaac this pack of Parabellum. Hey everybody, this is Alan Moore from Aries Tactical Solutions. I want to do a quick video updating that World War II video that was put out a while back showing the arrows versus the bullets. Contrary to popular belief, the pe people say that, air, that archery doesn't have a place in modern combatives. Well, maybe not overseas now, but going back to uh, Vietnam, going back to World War II, they were still using archers in certain divisions. Mostly, mostly it was a special forces division that used them because the bow is a specialized weapon. It's not something you can hand to anybody and they just shoot uh, effectively. So I want to do an update on, on this because some people see that and they're like, ah, oh, well, this might be World War II propaganda or, you know, this and that. So I just wanted to update it. Now, we did change a few things. One of the things that we changed is in their test, they used a box filled with, with uh, dirt. And uh, I'm actually using a bucket that's filled with dirt. So there is a little bit more resistance going in to the bucket um, and, of course, exiting as well. Uh, plus, it can be packed a little bit tighter in, in that bucket. So uh, we'll be using a bucket uh, for two. I'm only testing a handgun. They tested a handgun, a submachine gun, and actually a rifle. And uh, in this test, I'm actually going to be just using the handgun. I'm going to be using my, uh, my Glock 19 in there. Um, I'm going to be using that with full metal jacket ammo, uh, 9mm, of course. Uh, I did not bring my recurve with me today out to the range but I did have this compound and this is an old compound this is a Timberland Stalker it's the old Indian model I think it's the first compound that I ever got when my mom got it for me I couldn't even draw it um, draw weight is set at like 45 50 pounds I think I got this set at 50 pounds on this particular one the feet per second on it is very pitiful by compound bow standards uh, it rank my re matter of fact my recurve actually will push pretty close to the same feet per second as this uh, old compound wheel. So we're going to test them and we're going to see what happens. We're gonna, let's see if it works. Is a, can a bullet outperform an arrow? Can an arrow outperform a bullet, especially with modern ammunition? Let's see. No penetration. Nothing. It's entrance hole. Should have come out roughly somewhere back here. And we got nothing. Full penetration. Heavier arrow, we still get penetration through here. Aluminum arrow, 
field tip. And the field tip makes it through also. So. so real quick for curiosity's sake, I was checking to see just how deep did that bullet go. I, want, I needed to dig my broadheads out of here. So uh, I started checking down, I'm digging in, let me turn it sideways. Right here, you can see where my shadow is, that's the entrance hole. There's my slug right there. So what are we looking at? I don't have a ruler per se on me. I do have a Leatherman tool here. So the length here is, you can tell that's three and there's four inches there. So if I set it down, in there we're looking at probably five inches penetration 